The Curse of Kulzine Castle Kulzine Castle, located on the rugged Ayrshire coast of Scotland, is a place steeped in history, mystery, and the eerie tales of the supernatural. Perched dramatically on a cliff overlooking the Firth of Clyde, this stunning castle has a rich history dating back to the late 18th century. Let's delve into the darker aspects of its history and weave a tale filled with ghostly encounters and spine-tingling witness accounts. Colzine Castle was built between 1777 and 1792 by the renowned architect Robert Adam, commissioned by the 10th Earl of Cassilis, David Kennedy. What was intended to be a grand and opulent residence hides a shadowy past that has left a chilling legacy. Legend has it that the Kennedy family, who resided in the castle, were cursed. It is said that the curse stems from a blood feud and a betrayal that occurred centuries ago. This curse is believed to be the source of many of the paranormal phenomena within the castle. One historian researching the curse discovered an old diary belonging to a Kennedy family member. The diary detailed the family's tragic history and their attempts to break the curse. According to the diary, every attempt had failed, leading to generations of torment and supernatural occurrences. One of the most infamous ghostly apparitions at Kulzine Castle is the Phantom Piper. Local legends tell of a piper who disappeared within the labyrinthine of tunnels beneath the castle. Visitors and staff have reported hearing eerie bagpipe music echoing through the corridors, only to find no source for the haunting melody. Witnesses have described the music as mournful and melancholic, sending shivers down their spines. One chilling account comes from a caretaker who claimed to have encountered the phantom piper deep within the castle's tunnels. As he ventured further into the darkness, the music grew louder, and he felt an icy breath on his neck. He turned to see a spectral figure in tattered clothing playing the bagpipes. The apparition vanished before his eyes, leaving him shaken to the core. Another well-known ghostly presence is that of the Grey Lady. She is said to be the spirit of a former maid who tragically fell to her death from one of the castle's windows. Many have reported seeing a misty, ethereal figure in a long, grey gown gliding through the corridors. Her mournful cries are often heard in the dead of night, adding an eerie atmosphere to the castle's already haunting ambience. One visitor, a historian with a deep interest in the supernatural, claims to have captured an unsettling image of the Grey Lady on camera. In the photograph, a faint, misty figure appears to be descending the grand staircase, her features obscured by a shroud of mist. Colzine Castle boasts a stunning and ornate theatre that has its own eerie history. In the late 19th century, during a performance, a tragic accident occurred when a chandelier fell from the ceiling, killing several audience members. Some believe that the spirits of those who perished in this accident still linger within the theatre. One theatre technician working on a restoration project reported strange occurrences. Tools would mysteriously vanish, only to reappear in bizarre locations. Lights flickered without explanation, and eerie voices were heard whispering in the darkened auditorium. Colzine Castle, with its stunning architecture and breathtaking views, hides a sinister underbelly of ghostly apparitions, eerie music, and unsettling encounters. The witness accounts shared here only scratch the surface of the chilling tales surrounding this historic castle. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer in the supernatural, a visit to Colzine Castle is sure to leave you with a sense of unease and a curiosity about the unexplained. As darkness falls over the castle and the wind howls through its ancient stones, the spirits of the past come alive, making it a place where history and haunting converge. Sleep well. Share your own encounters with the unknown in the comments or email us at whispersdark1 at gmail.com.